This is pretty exciting. Um, thanks, Becky. So uh, my name is Chad Foley. I work at the city of Raleigh in North Carolina. I've been with the city in the IT department for about 13 years, and we've had CityWorks for about the same amount of time. Um, I'd say we're very heavy users of the CityWorks platform. We've completed about 160,000 work orders last year uh, across seven different departments and tracked about $60 million in equipment, labor, and material costs, or ELM or ELM. So at the city of Raleigh, we get real excited about two things. One is real-time data, and two is automation. Like, you can't even buy a smart, uh, an asset these days without it being smart. So how can we leverage all this data we're getting in real-time data and automate some of our processes to make our services more efficient? For example, when the Big Belly smart trash bin is 80% full, automatically kick off a work order. If, don't wait for somebody to complain about the room being too hot or too cold. If the HVAC or the boiler sends off an alarm, kick off a work order. So last summer, we went to the ESRI ESRI conference in San Diego, and we um, really wanted to insert ourselves between the technical folks at ESRI and the technical folks at CityWorks. The prior year, we had done a, a really innovative integration with the Waze traffic app where we were creating work orders in CityWorks based on potholes, signs down, um, dead animals, going right into CityWorks from Waze. But we wanted to continue that momentum and that innovation. So we said, what, you know, what can we do? Um, and wouldn't it be cool if there was some sort of CityWorks widget that would allow us to take all this real-time data we're getting and create work orders in CityWorks? So the technical people from Esri worked together with the technical people from CityWorks, and within six months, they delivered the CityWorks Connector for GeoEvent platform. CityWorks Connector for GeoEvent is an out-of-the-box uh, integration for CityWorks to create work orders from your events in GeoEvent. Um, it works by location as well. So you can have, say, an event happen in a park polygon, and you can create a park work order. You can have an event, say, on a road and create a road work order all in the same workflow. Our first foray into this was a simple collector app that you drop a point onto a feature layer uh, based on some attribute, you know, create work order in CityWorks, yes, no. If yes, create the work order in CityWorks. It was great. But we thought, what else can we do with this? You know, all this real-time data, what, what else, you know, can we explore this connector with? So it's kind of a funny story. Um, we, I have a coworker that he, he has a, he's a beekeeper, and he was talking about he wanted to track the number of bees going in and out of his beehive. So I said, you know, we could get a $10 Raspberry Pi camera, point it at the beehive, and count the bees with artificial intelligence coming in and out. And we laughed about it. But then a couple days later, we were having a beer after work, and he works in the transportation department, and he was bemoaning how much the city pays to hire contractors to count cars or do traffic studies. And I said, like the bees, we can count cars with these cameras and um, do it ourselves. So sure enough, we did a little proof of concept. We pointed our Raspberry Pi out our window at our, our office. And after you know, some tinkering, we were able to count cars, identify trucks, pedestrians. It was pretty cool. So we then kind of took it to the next level with Esri at our Smart City Summit. They came and did a pilot project with us on, on the same thing. They took our real-time traffic video feed and process it, uh, process it with AI in real time, creates operation dashboards, got all kinds of interesting statistics. So, um, you know, really the next logical step is not just, you know, seeing and doing analysis in the video, but what kind of things can we identify that we can take action upon? Leveraging this connector, creating work orders in CityWorks. So we have a ton of cameras in the city. We have 100 traffic cameras. We have plans to buy 500 more this year. We're retrofitting all of our trash trucks with cameras. We have existing CCT cameras everywhere. And so now, you know, working with our partners in these departments and just getting access to that data, we were able to you know, do more experiments. And um, I'll show you one I did next, where this is, just, this is some intersections in Raleigh that me and my coworkers just pieced this together. But we wanted to you know, do another thing where we would take some sort of event and create work order in CityWorks. So we thought of another proof of concept idea of just doing like a simple litter detector. Um, maybe we could teach the, the AI model what litter looks like. So 
you can train these, these AI models these, to identify basically anything, any kind of object inside an image based on audio, based on real-time video. In this example, we trained it to detect litter on a sidewalk or a bike path or a greenway. And um, sure enough, we build a little proof of concept. We have a 99% chance that this is cardboard, kick off a work order into CityWorks using the connector. So I really only have two kind of takeaways for today. One would be this technology, you know, it's here, it's real. We can do this. I, I don't know anything about AI, but I, the tools are out there that I can leverage them to do things that we want to do to, to create, create efficiencies. So I challenge you for the next two, two days or so, be thinking of what can you detect in your video, or in your city, that you want to take action on and create a work order in CityWorks. I'll have a session today at 1 o'clock at, uh, I think, Ballroom D, um, mostly around webhooks, but uh, thanks for your time.